Hi everyone, um, today I'm showing you how I'm highlighting the tentacles on Vampus. Um, if you can see they were, the holes are still, they haven't gone all the way through. So what I'm doing is I'm highlighting the little holes on the tentacles. So I'll show you how to do that if I can. If I can get it close enough. Hopefully. Right. I hope I can show you how I do this. So I get my little, I don't know what they are, the clampers. And if I can, can you see? I might have to do just a separate video and add it in. But I go into the middle where the bits still are, clamp it. And you see that's pulling. If I can get it in the right place. So I just push it down, clamp it. And then it's actually grabbed hold of the middle bit. So then it's just awkward trying to show you on video. And then just snip that off. And there you can see it looks better in the holes now. Sorry about any background noise, my, my son's watching um, videos. So I'll do a closer up one and post it in so you can see uh, in more detail. I'm going to be repairing all the Vampus today and I'll post the video to show you him. I'll be repairing the bubbles here and I'm going to see if I can attach some fangs on him. Okay, thanks for watching. Okay, so that's all of the tentacles, the inside of them all taken out. Uh, a bit of a tedious job, right? But it does add to the effect. It looks a lot, lot better. As you can see, I've done all of them now. It does look a lot better. It just adds to the whole of the effect. So, the silicone just sticks everywhere. It's just a magnet for dust and fluff and other pieces of silicone. So, there's the body. I said that it was a ball jointed head. So, I cut out the inside of the head, as you can see and that goes on the top of this like that so i'm going to do all the repairs now and i'll see you shortly bye hi again right i've mixed up my um silicone for the repairs on the vampus as you can see, so what I've got is the A part and B part um, of the Ecoflex and my flesh tones. <clears throat> so I've put a bit, just a bit in here, mixed it up thoroughly. And we're going, you need, you need a brush that hopefully doesn't lose bristles otherwise um, you'll just see them all in the silicone so I just put them all down just brush it all on so we get this smoother finish on the back So 
So I'll do that wherever there's scissor marks um, or where the seam is. Just literally go over it like so. And what you're best doing, if you've got a fan brush, it's much easier um, to fan out the edges. But um, I can't find my fan brush, so I'm just going to use an ordinary brush. Dipped in a bit of thinners um, to fan out the edges of it. And find my thinners. Found them. So literally, just where the edges are, just fan it all out so you're not actually seeing. It's all blending in where you've put the uh, the seam on. You see that? So now he's got his spine back. There we go. So I'll be doing all the rest um, where there's little bits of tears. I'll be sealing all those up um, and I'll come back to show you doing all the bubbles. Thank you, bye.